So this is an example of application of what you just learned with one specific example. How could the blood vessels, when you are stressed out, so sympathetic nervous system activation occurring here. So there's a bear, not a very scary bear color. The blood vessels in your intestines constrict. That's part of decreased digestion. The blood vessels that um, bring blood to and from your skeletal muscles dilate. So this is about, let's just say running. This is gonna allow you to run. This is gonna allow you to stop digestion. Why? Well, we wanna have our energy be going to running, not to digestion. We want the blood to flow this way. Dilation is going to open up that blood vessel and call, cause blood to flow here, more blood. This is called vasodilation. Blood vessels constricting is going to have less blood come here to the digestive system. This is called vasoconstriction. Could you talk about the receptors involved in how this same hormone, so epinephrine, norepinephrine is also going to be active. I'm going to use epinephrine as an example. How can it do two different things in blood vessels? This is blood vessels in either situation. Well, the answer is different receptors. So here is a nice image of the multiple effects of epinephrine. It can bind to different types of receptors. Remember adrenergic, that's any receptor that binds norepinephrine or epinephrine. So there's different types of adrenergic, adrenergic receptors. Alpha and beta are both types of adrenergic receptors. Epinephrine can bind to either one of them. Epinephrine is coming from where? The adrenal medulla circulating throughout the bloodstream. Similar idea for norepinephrine would exist. Epinephrine is going to bind to this alpha receptor. And because of that, the effects that it has on alpha receptors, that's going to be that calcium second messenger that's going to cause constriction of blood vessels in the GI tract. When epinephrine, same epinephrine, binds to the beta-2 receptor, that's going to cause CAMP to be activated and ultimately cause the dilation of smooth muscles in the skeletal, like going to the skeletal muscles, as well as the bronchioles, the, the tubes going to the respiratory passageways. So the same signaling molecules has opposite effects in two different effectors. That's important for this coordinated body response to running from a bear.